Welcome back. Um, we're meeting with the joint meeting with the Finance Committee to discuss the uh, money transfer and the uh, special town meeting coming up. Um, money needs to be transferred for sewer available surplus, I mean, uh, sewer enterprise fund. And uh, Mike, you're here, uh, the town accountant's here to discuss what happened and uh, give us some kind of an explanation here so we all understand it totally. And uh, maybe the folks all at home will get a little preview of what the town meeting's about and, uh, and help out here. So Mike. I beg, I beg permission to defer to Paul. Yeah, I, I just, I want to start off the discussion. Okay. Daryl, I've got some handouts here for, Thank you. <laughs> for you guys. <clears throat> um, yeah. Uh, The issue is, on the first page, uh, uh, the two pages that I handed out, you see uh, I've uh, outlined sewer, the sewer revs, sewer revenue. That is the figure, the $432,292, that was the figure that was voted on at town meeting. So, you know, we're in the process now of uh, putting in all the documentation to submit to the Department of Revenue in order to get our our tax rate set, um, which we really need to have uh, the Department of Revenue uh, sign off on that uh, before the end of the year, which is why this you know we're we're rushing into this town meeting. Um, so that is the figure that uh, town me meeting voted on. Um, so in a nutshell. Um, what occurred, because that, that figure is not generated by just one individual. Um, so there isn't just one set of eyes that, that, that uh, focuses in on that. The DPW director comes up with the uh, operating budget, which was pretty much level funded for this year, except for some small salary increases. And the rest of it is generated by the treasurer's office. Um, uh, dealing with um, indirect costs and the uh, um, debt service. So what didn't happen this year, which should have happened, and I'm, the reason why I'm bringing it up is so that it doesn't happen again. Um, nobody raised the question as to whether or not that was a viable figure or not, because if anybody had, um, Michael would have started doing his analysis and he said there's not enough money here to generate this. So, you know, uh, the problem occurred during the budget process, so we're not going to let that happen again. Um, and, and I'll just say that I've had uh, several conversations with our former uh, treasurer, Louise Sliz, about this, and quite frankly, when she was here, um, this is one of the things that she would keep an eye on. So, um, but she's not here now. So, um, so that's the number that was voted on a town meeting. If we go to the second page, um, this is the uh, one of the forms that the accountant has to fill out <clears throat> to submit to the Department of Revenue. Um, so we have two columns there. Uh, FY14 actual revenues. So those are real numbers that were brought in and then estimates for FY15. Um, so there was a sewer rate increase, and that's all been factored into these numbers. Um, but as you, the, I've got the arrow pointing at the total revenues, um, and that is $396,292. So the best that Mike could come up with that could be justifiable uh, to the Department of Revenue was $396,292 uh, as the total sewer revenue, and that's $36,000 less than the figure that was voted on at town meeting. That's why we need to go to town meeting to make that adjustment. Okay. For the listening audience, what Paul said is the problem is we overestimated income in sewer by about $36,000 that now needs to be covered. 
in order for us to set our tax rate. Okay, my, my question here is, if we're looking at what was approved at town meeting, 432,000, okay? Mm -hmm. Why wouldn't the 432,000, that's what we voted on, why wouldn't that 432,000 be putting in Put in, be put in under total revenues. It was originally. That's that's what I just said. Yeah. The problem. I did have that number. I did have revenue come up to four hundred thirty-two thousand two ninety-two, but that knocked the user charges up to like four hundred and seventeen thousand. The increase from actual fourteen to estimated fifteen was way over the threshold. That the Department of Revenue would let us use, yeah, even yeah. with the seven and a half percent increase, yeah. it was still way too high, and they won't approve it. Yeah, Department of Revenue is, is you know, uh, is not going to. <laughs> they're not. They don't let towns fudge numbers. Um, it's got to look reasonable to them. Um, so, and then of what the four fifteen and yeah it was they was not a reasonable figure. So where's that money going to come from? I guess the question that I have is when we're sitting down going through the finance, <clears throat> finances of all the departments and so on, okay, the 432000 is that the figure that was given to us when we were figuring out the budgets originally when we sat down yes. and started going through? Yes. yes. Okay, so if it was, the, the, the money should be there. No, it's not. No. It's not. I mean, your, your, your expenses are generally more fixed. You have your principal and interest. You have the the various allocations to various staff or salaries and benefits uh, and, and other things like that, but which are pretty clear because you don't have a lot of volatility in the number of people working in this area that are being allocated cost. Your revenues are, are subject to change. Uh, weather, more rain, uh, less usage of water, your sewer revenues goes down. Uh, well, I understand that part, Jeff. So, so that's that's a more volatile number, and this was an estimate. During the budgeting that. process, as I remember it, we usually sit down and we look at estimated revenues. That's yes. one of our tasks, you know, whether it's excise or et cetera down down the road. And we just must have, you know, doesn't matter who came. Back, we just overestimated. Yeah. I guess that's what I'm asking. Do we have that number that we when do we have that number there when we first started doing last year's budget? 432,000. 432. Yeah. Somebody gave us that number. Yeah. Mm. Okay, so that's the number that we use, 432. That's correct. Mm. But it's just an incorrect But it hasn't it's materialized and won't materialize, and it's significantly <laughs> well, regardless of whether it will materialize. In terms or not. of increase from over the prior year for DOR to accept. DOR doesn't believe it will materialize, right. regardless right. of whether yeah. it will right. or it won't. It, it doesn't matter at this point. Yeah. If you had a legitimate story other than just the seven and a half percent, if there were some other circumstances, that you, you added three hundred new homes to the yeah. water. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. But right. well, we don't have that story. But no, we don't. Because yeah. we did, we did we increase sewer revenues. Seven percent. Well, we increased the rate seven percent. That's what I meant. We increased the rate water five percent. Seven percent. Or seven and a half was it? Seven and a half. Seven and a half. Mm -hmm. And when we figure this, we always figured on the on the uh, wet year. We didn't go with the dry year because the dry year was extra money in our pocket. If I recall, that's what we talked about. We always try to figure conservatively. Yeah. Because it wasn't that many years ago that we had a similar problem with DOR and overestimating. About eight um, years ago. Yeah. 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 Uh, we overestimated excise or something like that. I think we're right. Huh? I think we're actually right, but yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they didn't like the number, like you said. Yeah. Doesn't matter. DOR doesn't like the num didn't like <laughs> so, the so given that we've got this hole of thirty six thousand in this current year budget, <laughs> under the DOR rules, unless we cover this down and and set a tax rate by the end of December, we're not able to bill in what month? If we send the bills out after December thirty first, they're not due until May first. Right, one bill. So you lose interest, uh, you lose that cash flow. Yeah, we'll probably have to borrow. Yeah. Right. right. We will have to borrow. Yeah. And we you still have, have to solve the problem. Right. 
So you still have to get the money. So so, so I guess that's question number two. Like so we can have a town meeting, but have we where do we get the money? Well, well there's two places to get the money. One is from stabilization and two is from raised through taxation. Because we have, like Jeff says, that thirty six thousand dollar hole we're below the levy limit by thirty six thousand dollars. Yeah, when I when I put the article together, the only um, surety that I had about where to get the money was from stabilization. So that's the way the article's written to get thirty transfer from stabilization thirty six thousand, which needs a two thirds vote. Um, I have since uh, found out that we are. Thirty-six thousand seven hundred and nineteen dollars under the levy limit. So we've been talking about that here today. Um, about well, so, should, so we, should we should we you know go with stabilization or should we amend that article right from the outset to raise and appropriate thirty-six? That's what you guys meant. I'd like to hear how the finance What's committee feels about that. What's the impact of thirty-six thousand dollars? Pardon me? What's the impact of $36,000? It's not much. No, it just it wouldn't require the two-thirds, correct? No, no, yeah. No. Yeah, well, I'm just saying on the tax rate. Taxes, taxes no. 36000 What's the impact? Uh, 50 cents? At least? Yeah, I don't think it would be anywhere near that much. Oh, anymore. yeah. Oh, on the rate, it wouldn't be that much. No, it would yeah. be yeah. pennies. Oh, oh, yeah. Right. On the average tax bill, I don't know what it would be. It, it would be pre it, pretty much not noticeable. And, of course, would reserve our... Stabilization fund should. This is, in my mind, it's pretty tough to go to stabilization for a revenue issue, isn't it? Am I, am I yeah. the only one thinking that's a little dicey? Well, I mean, the, yeah. the reality is if we had projected it being $36,000 lower than what we projected, we wouldn't be $36,000 below the levy limit right now. Yeah, right. right. We'd be yeah. basically at the levy at limit. At the levy yeah. limit. Yeah. Because right? yeah. we're. So right. we're we would later. always try to right. be below the level limit. Well, we have to be below the levy limit anyway, or equal to. Well, yeah, we can't be above it. Right. Mm -hmm. What I'm saying is, well, either we, I guess we either would have been at the levy limit, mm -hmm. or we would have funded departments differently somehow. Right. Yeah. But we wouldn't have gone to stabilization to cover thirty-six thousand no. dollars a no. hole in the budget. No. We would have fixed no. it. Again, Paul was just. Yeah. No, yeah. No, I know, I know. I'm just saying. Us through we this, had to get uh, as, people can, as a way of evaluating this, yeah. if we had done this originally, we certainly would not have gone to town meeting <laughs> and said, oh, yeah, and we're going to do this budget, and we're going to take $36,000 out of stabilization right. to balance it out. We, yeah. Uh, yeah. The only <clears> thing I question, that. Paul, is that mm -hmm. you might want to check with the attorney that can we, in the motion, can we change, can we change the motion to read that it comes through taxation. Well, actually, I, I, sent an, I sent an email off to the moderator today about this. Um, and, yeah, he said, you know, if you want to change it, you know, the, the best thing to do is change it right off the bat. And, Mr. Moderator, I uh, mm -hmm. make a motion to amend the article yeah. to right mm -hmm. off the bat. To read uh, through taxation yeah. instead of stabilization. So, yeah, I mean, I... I think I th that's but we what might I think be able we to should do, do without that. doing the motion. Yeah. Check with the attorney, because in, yeah. in the in the motion itself, we might be able to change because the intent is still there. The intent yeah. is to fund that account. Yeah. So the intent is there. So in the motion, where it comes from, we might be able to change it through the motion yeah, without I don't, doing I don't any. See that as a problem. Yeah. The intent is is to fill the hole. <coughs> where, where the money comes from is, you know. Discretionary. Well, but you want yeah. to check with the attorney yeah. to make sure but that I we will. can do that. Like I that. will. And that way we wouldn't need to amend the article. We just uh, have well, no, we'll need to amend the motion. We need to we'll amend, need to amend it's it. Written. Yeah. To take it out of stabilization, right? Yeah. What's written? The you article. lost me. How, why, the what's written? He wrote the article to take well, it out of stabilization. Oh, you already. already. Oh, you had already. to be out on two weeks before. Yeah. We wrote the article already to warrant. say that it was coming from stabilization. I have to amend it. Unless you're going to take yeah. it from stabilization, you have to. Amend it. So you are, you've yeah. already set a date. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. 15th. We had December fifteenth. Yeah. I mean, I. Oh. Everything had to fly. Oh, you right you away. say it like I should know. 
It all happened. Little birdie came and told me, hey, this is when the meeting. It was a busy week last week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. no, but it's understood. It's understood. Uh, yes, it was a very That's busy a, week last week. Wow. Okay. Right. Yeah, December. Well, well let's, December let's, let's close on this. Uh, is the Finance Committee in agreement that we should, subject to co coordination with Town Council, that we change the source of funds from stabilization to taxation? So. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Sounds good. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And you'll work the mechanics. I'll work the mechanics. With I'll have I'll have the I'll have the language ready to go. Uh, 15th, John, I'm is just that a Monday? And just to reiterate, it, it's it on is on Monday the fifth. It is. It's, it's a really bad night. Um, it's pitch night at the Legion. There's a big meeting down at the Congregational Church that night. So we'll know where to send the police. So we know, we'll know where to send the police. <laughs> we have to have 75 people? 75 yeah. people. That was, well, that was my question. Where, where, where are, are you having it at the cafeteria at the high school? Yes. Yeah. 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 Well, I just found out from the moderator the other day, it's only a quorum if somebody calls it. That's absolutely true. Yeah. Um, I guess my question to John Novak here is, can we carve out this part of the meeting and maybe have not only the selectmen's meeting, but have this part of a meeting as a separate reviewing, okay? And the reason I say that is people would, instead of watching the whole selectmen's meeting to get to this, this is a separate segment. Yep. Okay, that would be yeah. that way they could see it uh, uh, right away, right up front, and what we're talking about here, and an explanation, and and uh, to get it out there as soon as possible. Set your DVR. <laughs> Put it on YouTube. Yeah. On the <laughs> Put it in a newspaper. Yeah, I've got to get it in the Put the sign out front. We need to do a lot yeah. of publicity on this here to get yeah. the people there. I was going to say maybe worth the little three by five card and, that uh, you can send out. It's very, very important. Uh, robo call. Yeah, robo call. Oh, yeah, yeah. right. Yeah. Because it's just going to be one article. Just one, one article. article, that's it. It's it. It'll take, take all of all about of 10 15 minutes. minutes 10, Can't 15 you come minutes. up with something controversial to put on there? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you can Some revisit the school or something. Yeah. Uh, we, we could have changed the quorum to 15 or 20. We could revisit the rooster. Uh, yeah. yeah. There we go. That always works. That was tabled. Oh, yeah. The rooster was tabled. That's right. So, um, do the best we can. Yeah. And whatever happens, happens here. Yeah. So, so this is great. We'll get it fixed. So, remind me again what we're going to do to make sure we don't have this happen. Happen again. Happen again. Because I mean, I thought about it, and I, well, you know, was that a spreadsheet issue? And the spreadsheet gets pretty complicated. It's pretty complicated. Where yeah. things are funded, and we've missed things in the past, or well, you know what this. This didn't happen till late because we were still going around and around on the rates for sewer and water. That's true. So there's no way yeah. that this got estimated at the beginning of the budget process yeah. right. because we were at right. the very end of the budget process. April when is when end. we changed yeah. the rates. Yeah. So yeah. I yeah. think that would help if we weren't, you mm. know, if we weren't down to the bitter end yeah. figuring out what the sewer and water rates are going to be. But, yeah. But the solution now is that we've got the solution with the water rates and sewer rates because we voted to automatically raise them every year. Right. Yeah, well, that will certainly help. <clears throat> right. mm. That will help expanding the system is the answer. Yep. But what stops well, well, us... Well, the numbers. <clears throat> what stops us from having a real wet year and people don't use the water? Well, that's not... That's not a problem for this, though. I mean, that, that's not going to require a special But economy. the estimated receipts are not going to be there, so we're going to be short. The more water you conserve... Yeah, but you never know what's going to happen. Yeah, the estimated receipts on water revenue might not be there, 
but then the estimated receipts on something else might be, you know, higher than you think. Right. And so you cover it, cover it you know, one way or another. somewhere in the future. Mm. I mean, that happens all the time. We've had unexpected excise tax revenue before that was like $40,000 more, $50,000 more than we thought it was going to be, and who knows why. I mean, more people went out and bought new cars, I guess, or, yeah. you know, some, some the truck leasing company goes out and buys a new fleet of trucks, and all of a sudden you're... Mm. You know, your excise yeah, tax money is going up. Or, so they are just estimates. The, the question is, can you get the estimate within what DOR will allow? That's all we, that's what we have to worry, that's the, what we have to worry about here. Mm -hmm. Back to, to Daryl's question, though. Uh, well, a closer look by all parties, number one. And uh, but another thing, and we've, we have adjusted the rates to go up a bit. And of course, you know, you can only do that so far. Uh, another thing that we need to watch, we dipped into retained earnings uh, in sewer. Was it prior year? We, we took a big hunk out of that to, uh, for debt, to, yeah. to apply towards debt. Right. And I think we need to be more, care more cautious and allow that to build up a little I think, so you could cover down a problem I think on the sewer side we should have a, a spreadsheet that specifically shows everything on the sewer so we don't get into this so that way you fill in the blank and make sure the figures are there to cover uh, uh, office expenses and all that other stuff and direct stuff. okay and that way when we get it on the finance end of it we can see that it is there it's posted and what the numbers are. So well, if we have a spreadsheet laid out accordingly, then we can see what the bottom line is. That would be very helpful. What do you think, Sean? Well, I, I mean, this I'm, is I'm not just looking at this is an expense so problem. So we solved the problem. I, know, I mean, I think we should harms. have the expenses Again. under control, obviously, but. I mean, this problem is a revenue estimation problem, but right. but sure, right. yeah, yeah. And we've done this; we've, we've made these this kind of mistake before. Yeah. This is we fixed it <laughs> before before, before yeah. it was too late. You know, yeah. like we've we've gone back and forth on estimates before. They are estimates, and you know, sometimes we <clears> changed <throat> them, corrected them before town meeting, found that we, you know, didn't have justification for an estimate. This time, we just didn't do it. Right. Well, we have a way ahead. Okay. Fifteenth yep. uh, of December. December fifteenth is our special town meeting at seven o'clock at the high school. Are we going to meet at all before? Fifteen minutes, half hour before. And yeah, we should post a meeting uh, half hour before. Hopefully, a good idea. Okay. Just in case, Just in case. we have to yep. make some kind of a Last arrangement. Minute. It'll be a joint meeting between the finance committee and, and the selectmen. Yep. Paul, you can post that. Yeah, I'll take care of it. And. Um, Hopefully everybody will be watching us and uh, support us. Pending. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. yeah. And, uh, yeah don't stay it. home and watch. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, watching this show oh, okay. today, <laughs> so they understand that they have to get out to the uh, school <coughs> to attend, the, attend the, uh, the meeting. Yeah, I mean, I would say that the impact of not being able to carry out this special town meeting uh, will mean that we will have to borrow money to operate the town which will cost us money. Exactly. Uh, and eventually, we'll have to appropriate this $36,000 from anyway, somewhere. Top of right. it, yeah. yeah. Exactly. So, yeah. That's right. Which is why we went to the tax bill system that we have today. So we don't have So to. we didn't have to borrow money and right. to keep the cash flow of the town going. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Any other questions? Anything? No. Motion to adjourn. Thank you, guys. Thank you very second. much for coming in. And, uh, motion to adjourn. Is there a second? second. Further discussion? If not, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you very much, and have a good evening, everyone. And uh, thank you, John. see you on the 15th.